advocates for neonatal care are asking government to include their health care in the national health insurance scheme. According to the advocates, a child's first benefit from the state is the ability to live when born before the 40-week gestational period, an assistance which, when denied, could lead to death. Currently documented as one of the leading causes of death among newborns, the advocates want government to increase funding for neonatal care as a means of ending preventable deaths of newborns and children under five years in its quest to achieve the SDG target 3.2 by 2023. Hanno Dami has more in this report. Mothers of preterm babies often have to stay in hospitals for as long as their babies receive care. This affects their finances and general well-being. Some are thrown into a state of despair, confusion and guilt. Olivia Sakwa has been at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital for the past three weeks waiting for her third child born at 32 weeks to be discharged. The financial burden, she says, is draining, reason why governmental support is needed. If you, the mother, you've been discharged, it means you have no bed to sleep on. So you have to sit till daybreak so you can take care of your baby as well. And aside that, buying drugs, going for labs, it also stressed us. So actually, if the government can provide beds for mothers being taken care of premature babies. Aside that, some mothers continue to live in denial about the situation of their babies. But Gloria Abaka, who delivered at 33 weeks, encourages her fellow mothers to give their best love to the children during these moments as that aids the growth of their babies. I realize that when we love our children, when they are in this situation, they come out faster than we thought. An NGO, African Foundation for Premature Babies and Neonatal Care, occasionally supports these mothers through diverse means to alleviate their plight. Selena Bingtum has been leading this cause. The cost of care in the NICU is expensive. The NHIS covers very little portion probably less than 10 percent and for the amount that it covers it does not extend to essential part of care like medication that is expensive that the baby needs to survive and so it is not an excuse for a Ghanaian a baby who is born Ghanaian at that age to be to die even if it's just one baby dying every year because of this it is still not fair and we can do more Stambeck Investment Management Services, which assured of continuous support for the mothers, also promised to be a voice so government can respond urgently by increasing investment in neonatal care. Desmond Bredu is head of client coverage. For us, we believe in sustainability, so we are not just looking at just a one-time thing, but how can we partner other institutions, how can we echo the message, because that's where we can get to have more people come on board. From the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, I am Hannah Odame for Joy News.